today i am going to demo you some new features ported in aokp rom the first thing about it is its dialer which comes in two variants the default one is uh, white and grayish in color but you can easily change it into the darkish theme which is found in the stock android by just changing the theme as you can see when i apply the system theme my dialer gets changed into the one that is found in the stock rom as well as in cyanogen based rom there you can see the other feature is how easily you can uh, answer the phone when you are in sub working on some app so for example i am in gallery and if someone calls me i can decline an answer from that app itself Uh, next we'll quickly go into the system tweaks these are the developers who made this project possible now let's quickly go into the general settings it shows recent ram bar which shows the unused ram as well as the used ram on the left hand side next i have lock screen uh, ro rocker wake then music controls and it has also got transparent lock screen means it will show the background app uh, when i press lock when i do a lock screen say for example i am in gallery and i do lock screen then i will be able to see it when i rewake my phone so you can see i can see gallery from lock screen Okay, let's quickly move into the other settings. Then I have status bar tweaks. You can adjust the brightness by sliding on the status bar. Then you can also uh, sleep your phone, make your phone sleep by double tapping on the status bar. Okay. Uh, then you have other status bar options you can uh, customize the look of your clock change color as well uh, you can also change the how battery looks battery icon rather you can also include circle change color as well you can also 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 show the signal strength there you can see minus 103 dbm uh, you can hide signal bars if they are uh, if they ac occupy extra space then we have toggles this appears when you uh, pull down from top you can easily add uh, toggles as well as much as you want you can see let me try immersive mode toggle which uh, hides my navigation bar as well as status bar okay okay uh, there you can see i am in now in immersive mode and uh, i can easily turn it off as well you can add a toggle as well as much as you want as per your requirement and uh, also change the position now hardware keys for some reason this one this one is not working for my phone uh, then we have power menu it shows which uh, items will appear when you pre long press the power menu you can turn them off as well then i have navigation bar tricks where you can add a navigation bar button i have notification bar as uh, my fourth key i can add uh, as many key as i want but uh, this will make my navigation bar uh, more weird and it will look clumsy you can delete them as well then okay let me go back then you have navigation rings uh, this is the one where, which appears when you uh, scroll from the bottom of the screen you can add maximum five targets on a single ring including google now there you can see i have added five targets on my single ring then what we have for some reason the shortcut shortcut is not working sound okay 
default settings installer I don't know anything about this so I'll better stay off it okay then we have sound you can uh, enable quiet hours where you can mute notification mute phone ringtones and disable vibration as well then these are normal tweaks uh, the super user is built in this phone itself and you need not need a separate app for this then say this as you can see the super user is not installed and it is inbuilt okay let me go there then we have app ops which shows which app are asking for specific permissions and which apps are working Uh, uh, as you can see my phone number android version as well as kernel version the battery is very good in this phone the kernel uh, kernel is uh, fast and responsive as well thanks for watching